Hello, my name is Libor Dudesh and I'm the music director and the organist at the Old North Church in Boston. Today I'm going to introduce you to the instrument that we have in the church. A couple of things about the history of this instrument. The original instrument was built in 1700s. Uh, we have very little information about what this instrument was. We assume that it was uh, English instrument meaning there was no pedals, full pedals as we have today. Uh, it was built by a parishioner Johnson and the documents state only few information about the stops. Uh, over the centuries there were a number of other instruments, some of them quite large in this space uh, for the services and in 1990, 1992 the congregation decided that it's time to restore the instrument as close as possible as the origin, to the original instrument that was in this church. So the restoration uh, took a couple of years. The casing that you see today uh, is the original casing from the 1700s, completely restored the way it looked back then. The inside of the organ is new. So most of the stops, uh, pipes, this is, this is all new, built in 92. The instrument does sound like a Baroque English instrument of the time, with the difference that we have the full pedal added to it. So I would like to talk a little bit about the instrument, organ as an instrument. Um, you will you see that there are two set, two rows of keys here, and then there's a, an extra row of pebbles, which is played by feet. Um, the way the organ works is that each note is connected to one or more pipes, and they look like a, I would say like a flute. So the air goes through the pipe, and depending on the build of the pipe it makes different sounds for example this is a principal sound this is a flute sound then we have trumpet it's a little bit up to um, then we have a cornet sound and usually it's used with others stops um, so when I these knobs that you see are called stops and when we pull a knob this lets the air uh, towards the row of pipes connected to this stop when I press the key the little lever lets the air into the pipe and that's how it makes sounds. Now I can combine more than one row of pipes by pulling more knobs or more stops so I can add sound to it. So I get bigger sound. Um, the air is supplied by a bellows which are in the tower behind the organ. There is a door behind the organ and behind the door there is um, the bellows with the electric motor that provides air into the organ. In the 18th century, obviously electricity was not known. There was another device that managed the organ, the air supply. And on the side of the organ, there is a pump that you can operate manually even today and uh, operate the bellows inside the organ so that you get the sound out. Um, the different sounds, different manuals, these are called manuals or also T, have different stops on it so that you can change color very quickly. The same thing you can do on the, on the pedals. You can play your pedals. And we play the pedals with your feet. So, uh, what happens is you play with your hands and with your feet at the same time. Increase if you pull more stuff.
stops. Also caretakers of this instrument. The instrument is being tuned four times a year and this is general tuning. Usually when the weather changes, when the humidity changes, that's when the instrument goes out of tune. That said, we can tune it almost every week because with the weather change certain stops go out of tune very easily. So sometimes I have to tune them during the week. The, the main concern and main issue about having an organ in the space that's not climate controlled is the humidity in the winter because most of the parts are wooden, so some of the pipes are wooden. Uh, so if the humidity is really low, the wood can crack, uh, there can be damage to the wood. In the summer, when humidity is high, the wood, wood expands and again can damage the instrument. Uh, another big issue that we have is uh, the tourists uh, who come in, into the organ, there's a lot of dust and dust particles that settle in the organ that can damage the instrument. And several years ago, we actually installed a filter on the bellows. So the air that's pumped into the organ is being filtered through that filter and catches some of the particles. So the particles don't go into the pipes. It's it's a very sensitive instrument. It's, it's very sensitive to humidity changes, temperature changes, so that the, the critical times of the year are fall when weather changes and then spring, summer again. So the role of the organ in the service is to support and enrich the worship of our parishioners, visitors, guests. Uh, it supports the singing of the congregation in hymns, it supports the choir uh, singing anthems, there's often, um, actually there's always a prelude and a postlude played before and after the services. The organ also plays for the weddings, funerals, and it enriches the experience of the service for many, many people. I often get asked about how can we hear the organ. You can always hear it on Sunday mornings uh, during the service. You sometimes may catch me practice during the day, but also it could be arranged through uh, the foundation and our parish that if someone wants to see the organ, someone wants to hear the organ, I'm sure we can find time to do so.